Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Pyro Falcon's Let's Play Extravaganza, where we are playing SimCity. And as a word of warning, um, just in case you saw the emergency channel status as of November 29th, 2013, my computer is not exactly operating at full capacity. I'm still down to half my usual RAM, but, eh, so far the game seems to be holding up, so whatever. Uh, the Akamura is joining me on guest commentary and is fairly distracted over there while doing so. Fairly distracted, that's a good way to put it. And, uh, well, I'm not gonna, like, describe what you're distracted with, because I'm going to try Please to don't. keep these episodes no clean. Needs to hear that. Um, so it's been a while since I played, as usual. We're gonna go to triple speed. But the, um, the, uh, point? Goal. The goal of today's episode is to get the bloody airport started. And if we get the bloody airport started, that means we can start, um, we can found episode, I mean, city number seven. Um, why are you yelling at me? Bloody airport is now the working title of a slasher film. Okay, so that's a good title for a slasher film. So, um, I do apologize for having to take a, an emergency hiatus. Luckily, it was for... A very fixable reason. Um, I don't remember if I... Well, it doesn't matter. I deleted the uh, the emergency channel status, so I'll just blather it again here for the sake of prosperity. Posterity. Yeah, posterity. So, um, my computer made several horrifying beeps and then restarted itself on boot, which is a very bad sign. And after doing a little research, I found out that the error is system timing error, whatever that means exactly. And it wound up being one of my RAM sticks, which I kind of exploded. But luckily, um, I've, uh, I've ordered some new RAM sticks from Newegg. Thank you, Achievement. And, um, uh, but in the process of dicking about with trying to find my problem i also somewhat damaged my wireless card which is for some reason working again but i've decided to replace it anyway so that's 80 dollars in parts that i did not want to spend between the ram stick and the and a new wireless card but whatever the wireless card needed an upgrade anyway and removing its location from inside my computer will actually improve airflow nerd speak over Ever since I was, uh, I've been off, I have been busy. Black Friday has come and gone, and we had some crazy people in the store, of course, because it isn't uh, a holiday without trying to punch grandmothers in the face to get a television for 20 bucks at Walmart. Well, not 20 bucks. I'd probably punch a grandmother in the face, too, if I could get a 50-inch TV for 20 bucks. But anyway. That needs to be a game show. That's got to be a game show somewhere. Probably Japan. It I'd has to that. be Japan. I'd play that. I, you'd play that? I'd punch that? a grandma for a $20 TV. I would too. I would too. Anyway, I don't have any massive stories about, or really fun stories about it. Uh, apparently there were 500 people, literally 530 people in line for a television that we only had 137 of, which was great because we had to ride a bunch of rain checks to a bunch of angry people. Not my idea of a fun day. Luckily, I missed most of that BS because I only had to go. Um, I, I my, the times that I was booked for work uh, was outside the times of the sale. Yay! So I avoided it. Yay. By the way, I, as you can see here, I've got a million bucks. That's how much the airport costs. I am not going to buy it until we have a little bit of a cushion here in Jayburg. But other than Black Friday, I have been busy. I actually got to play Santa Claus for the first time, which had some bizarre effects on me since I uh, uh, I had to deal with babies. Babies. And the Akamura and I have talked about it many times, and we're not having babies. We're not. We're we're not having babies. The closest we're going to have to babies is in The Sims or maybe a dog. Maybe heavy. Maybe maybe, maybe a puppy. Heavy I don't know. Maybe. What? Heavy maybe. Yes, heavy maybe. All I know is maybe, human maybe. babies are... Ugh. But uh, he, the nice thing about being Santa is you deal with human babies for about 15 seconds and then move on with your life. And most people can handle babies for that long, even staunchly anti-baby people. Like me. <laughs> and... uh because it's not, it's, it's, it, it, it can be fun. Like, my favorite baby was, uh, I was, I, like I said, I was doing the Santa thing, and uh, the mom came up with 
I think a toddler. I think she was about three. And that toddler sat on my right leg while she put this baby who was eight months old uh, on my left. And being eight months old, that means the baby did not have the motor skills to hold itself upright. So I had to keep my arm up to support it. And the baby snuggled her head into the crook of my arm and then looked up at me with these giant blue eyes. And even though I'm quite male, my maternal instincts kicked in. And I'm like, oh, I need one of these. And, (laughs) of course, a picture was snapped right at that moment. It was all cute and wonderful and beautiful. And she had a kung fu grip on the beard and uh, just was totally cool about the whole situation. And it was all very nice and great and wonderful. Um, and I got home and that ended that in a hurry. But anyway, um, classrooms are full, yes, but everybody is enrolled, so shut up. So, uh, but we had the opposite babies, too. We had the babies who were literally snot-nosed. Oh, yeah. Uh, the ones who had crusty junk on their nose and mouth that I hoped to God was just dried snot and not something worse. Um, I had one kid who was actively picking at his ass as he came up and tried to give me a hug. I never told you that one, Nakamura, because I was too horrified myself to bring it up. I was having terrible flashbacks. Yeah, when I worked at the Santa house last year, like, we had this little girl, and I got her name, and I was like, are you ready to see Santa? And she started just, this is like a three-year-old girl. She starts flailing in her dad's arms, and her dad puts her down, and she just starts kicking and screaming on the floor, and her parents are like, well, we're not going to see Santa, and I'm like, that's okay. Yeah, there were a few like that who were kind of suspicious about the whole thing and didn't want anything to do with it, Um, but, I mean, for the most part, the kids were actually pretty cool. Uh, There was one, my favorite one who was upset at the situation, uh, came up, and, like, he, well, he was never, he wasn't sure about any of it, um... Like, but the mom was like, you know, we got to get these pictures taken. We got to get this picture taken. So the, the boy, I think he was about maybe one and a half and he wasn't, he wasn't sure about what was going on. So she put him on the lap and the photographer, uh, I almost said her name, but I won't, uh, readied the picture, counted down three, two, one. And right as she snapped it, the boy realized, uh, decided on what his reaction would be. So he jammed his eyes closed, opened his mouth as much as he could, and went, <laughs> and tears were everywhere, and oh, everyone there laughed, God. including the parents. Oh, God. Parents actually love those pictures. Like, yeah. in order to upsell the packages where you could digitally download all three of the photos we take, like, I'd say something like, and here's the one where your kid is screaming. You could really bring that up on their prom night. <laughs> That's a good point. And, uh, yeah, my photographer even said, this is a memory. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, it's certainly a memory. Um, but the parents actually did like it for some reason. So, I mean, they were happy. The cool thing was um, we didn't have a single problem with any of the parents. Like, you know, there, there were the parents who, you know, they... they uh, they just, you know, the, the kids didn't get, uh, weren't cool with it. And so they, you know, the parents walked away a little disappointed, but it was always at the kid or, you know, at the situation, I suppose, not the kid himself. Yeah. Um, you know, but it, it worked out and it was, uh, it was just a cool experience and, you know, no parents got upset. I didn't like make any kid cry. So it it was cool. I, I did not mind being Santa. My favorite parents are the ones who need the photos. Like, they're, like, up in their kids' faces, like, we need this photo. Can you be good for this photo? And I'm like, I'm not going to take a good picture for a parent who's saying that to me. I'm going to just kick and scream and just be awful for you. And it's interesting because uh, that you bring that up because as I was doing the photos, I realized, especially for some parents, the photo is more – whoa. Whoa. Sorry, I just realized I am almost at maximum employees for the Academy. Fantastic. Academy upgrade. Click that. Boom. Okay, what am I looking at here? Sorry, I will finish that in a second. Boost control net transmission by 25%. Oh, this is telling me what I can work with. Okay. Waste reduction level, Mark II air scrubber crown, fusion power plant, nuclear reactor level, wave power plant, sky bridge. 
Well, we've sort of got the power plant deals fixed. Let's go with the quantum science annex. Oh, I stick that on the, okay. So we'll stick it, I guess. Eh, we'll stick it here, I don't care. All right, Yay, so then I get new research and I can do, okay. The air scrubber absorbs air pollution around the mega tower. Once full, it creates rain clouds that add water and some pollution to the ground. Or the waste reduction level greatly reduces the garbage output and increases the amount of recyclables produced by a single mega tower. This level also converts a portion of the mega tower sewage into potable water. That's cool. Plop this in your city to transmit control net to the academy technology when the control net from the academy just isn't enough. Okay. Wind solar. Okay. Okay. Let's do the waste reduction level. I like these upgrades. So, um... Uh, but yeah, I, I was, uh, I realized that doing the whole Santa th deal that a lot of times the pictures are for the parents more than they are for the kids. It's sort of like when you throw a birthday party for a one-year-old. The one-year-old doesn't give a crap. The one-year-old doesn't understand shapes and colors, pretty much. But it's for the parents, the, the especially the mom. Wow, that's sexist. But still, the, you know, the mom is... You know, wanting to share this moment with everybody. It, usually you throw a first birthday not just for the child who's turning one, but for the siblings who uh, get to gather and partake of this party and be a family and stuff. And, and it's, the mom gets to parade the kid around like, look at what I made. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's nice. I didn't have that kind of stuff growing up, mostly because I am an only child. So there was never any incentive for my mom to really do any of that stuff. I, didn't, I never really got into birthday parties or anything when I was... A, when I was a kid, so... I don't know. Maybe I'm the screwed up one. Eh, I don't know. I had two older brothers, and for me, my birthday was the day I got punched for a reason. Ugh. Yeah, that's that's true. You've told me some horror stories about your uh, siblings. Some very awful horror stories. Yeah. Let's not bring this down. Let's get let's back to Santa. Not. Let's get back to Santa. So, um... And the other thing was, it's the easiest. It was, it was the easiest day I've ever had. Cause you know, I being Santa, I didn't have to do the work. I didn't have to take the pictures or, um, uh, like my photographer kept having to run the photos back to the photo lab to get them developed and all that stuff. Yeah. And I just got to sit in a comfy chair and relax and play with the kids and talk to the kids and. For the kids who are into it, you know, Santa is an awesome dude who gets to listen to them and cares about them and you know at least yeah. for that brief moment the you know santa for santa that child is the only child in the world you know and they yeah. walk away with a nice memory yeah it's like for our santa house that we put on like we get old guys who are specifically santas like they are that is their job they are santa for right. the christmas season so, like, they're sitting in the chair for, like, seven hours. And I remember one of our Santas had to have a cushion because the chair was hurting his back. And, like, those guys have to work because they have to make that kid smile. They have to make that kid feel safe. Like, because get kids young enough, they're like, Mommy's abandoning me. abandoning me. Oh, yeah, I can understand that. So, like... And I think it was Santa Bill. Like, he, like, felt the crowd and the workers, like us, and he would, like, slow down production and visit with the kids more if we were overwhelmed. That's awesome. Like, I know one of the workers wasn't really happy with that. She's like, he takes so long. I gotta get him out there. And it's like... My mom had to explain to her, yeah, he's doing that because I have a line built up at the pictures and Rachel has a line built up at the cashier. It's, it's like he's slowing it down so we're not overwhelmed. Right, and also, you know, I don't know, I, I guess because it was Walmart rather than, say, a mall, um, there were a lot of, there were very few times I even had a line. And it was really cool because um, it gave me the chance to actually speak to the kids for a bit because I had some parents who had 
uh, told me that their kids had had bad Santa experiences, especially at the mall, that it became almost like a um, a factory or an assembly line where the if they were bad, uh, if like the photographers and stuff were bad, they would basically rip the kid out of the ar- the parents' arms, plop him on Santa, get it over with, and then fling the kid off so you oh. could get to the next one. And it, it's just a bad experience yeah. for the kid, you know? If it's run by worldwide photography, they won't let that happen. Nice pimping for the for your company. Very good. Yeah, it's like they're all about the memory. Right. And and th- and that's what it is all about. And I guess part of my strength if I can humble brag here or whatever is that I do like kids. I don't think I would like to be around one full time, but I do like kids and you know, I sort of get it because I remember, you know, obviously I can't 100% remember what it was like to be a kid. But at the same time, I know that kids operate on a slightly different wavelength than adults do. And you can't just be militaristic and, you know, overly efficient with a child. It, It just doesn't work that way, especially when it comes to Santa, because kids have a trust of Santa and you can't break that trust by you know, getting it over with and flinging them off so the next one can get in line. Yeah. So I, uh, I don't know, but... Kind of makes me think of A Christmas Story. Did you ever see that movie? I have seen A Christmas Story, but it's been so long that I don't remember much of it other than the, you know, the cliches. But I didn't, I know I didn't really like it all that much. Yeah. It's a very subjective, is that the word? Could be. You either love it or you hate it. Right. Polarizing. Polarizing, that's it. And I should not have opened the smelting factory yet. This is why I want to give myself a cushion, but I sort of gave myself too much of a cushion, or not enough of a cushion. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the the whole Santa experience made me really enjoy it, and no kids peed on me. There were no extraneous body fluids on me, <laughs> um, which was great. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes me think one of the workers was a nursery aide, I think. Not a nursery, but a preschool. Two totally different things, but she was a preschool nurse aide, I guess. <laughs> and it was flu season. Oh, fine. So every two minutes, she would change Santa's gloves. <laughs> wow. Wait, what? Oh, that wasn't enough. Okay. Oh, I already have a smelting factory. Where the hell did I build this one? Ugh. Oh, my God. I I remember I was cashing some people out, and she came up behind me, and she's like, I need to get into the drawer. And I'm like, okay. So I move out of the way, and she pulls out the big old box of Santa gloves, and she grabs some, and she goes, and she changes Santa's gloves. I looked over at our location manager, and I'm like, what the heck? And he's like, just go with it. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, luckily I did not have to deal with any of that. Yeah. All right. I need to build up a little bit more money here, unfortunately. It really sucks, especially in the line, because, like, the kids are sick and the parents are sick and they're spreading it to the other kids and they're going to spread it to Santa and they're going to spread it to the workers, which is what happened to me last year. Well, you got sick from the Santa house? I got sick from the Santa house, yes. That stinks. Oh well, I uh, but uh, we're we're unfortunately already done. Um, the last two weekends or weeks rather before Christmas, uh, Walmart puts us. You know, it's all hands on deck for the store. So unfortunately, I cannot be Santa anymore this year. But I don't know. It 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 was fun. I kind of can't wait for it next year it's the the special days out of the year for me always make the job a little easier to tolerate since anyone who knows me knows i'm burned out from walmart and it's nothing it's nothing really against walmart it's just i want to be out of there and into a new job so bad it's part of the reason why i'm hoping the book and or at least the youtube channel take off so i can stop working day jobs but uh I don't think the channel will ever make me that much money, but that's okay. I don't mind. I love all of you guys, and I'm glad you all stuck around uh, during my unfortunate forced hiatus. But there will be another episode tomorrow 
because apparently even with 8 gigs of RAM, I'm still recording this game at 30 frames a second, 35 specifically, which is great, which means I've been worrying for nothing. And we're going to keep this going because I am still right now all about SimCity. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for another episode. Yay!